Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be featuring the Grimistola Rosea, which is a Chilean rose hair tarantula. I've been getting a lot of questions lately on how can I tell if my tarantula is about to molt or approaching a molt, pre-molt. Well, so I figured this would be the best way for me to answer this question. Here I have my Chilean rose hair tarantula. Her name's Sheila. She is an adult female, and when they get to be this size, they very, very rarely molt. Maybe like once every two years uh, to a year. It just really depends on the spider itself and uh, how much you feed it. So, but uh, she is in pre-molt, and I'm going to go ahead and point out a few different things where you, how you can identify uh, maybe if your uh, tarantula is about to molt. Uh, first off, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here, and if you look on the back of her abdomen, you'll notice she has some blackening spots. The blackening spots come from the, her inner exoskeleton. Uh, it's growing, and that's what causes it to turn black. Uh, she is a terrestrial species. They do kick your articulating hairs. Don't get it confused. Uh, some species will kick the hairs off the back of their abdomen and have a light pink spot. Uh, the light pink spot is not an indication of a pre-molt or a molt coming. Uh, it just means that they've been stressed and kicked off your uh, articulating hairs. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. This is her. She's a beautiful spider. It's been very good to me. I'm going to go ahead and point out, if you look on her ab abdomen here, right about there, and right in here, you can see it's darkening almost to a black color. That's her inner exoskeleton uh, growing from the inside out, and eventually she'll lay down a bed of webbing and uh, turn over and molt on that. Uh, now, it isn't very uncommon for them to get aggressive when they approach a molt. Uh, she's normally been pretty good, although earlier today, oh, she has been a little aggressive. As you can see, I can lift her up a little bit, and, and she does not want to be messed with. Beautiful spider. I haven't had any problems with her. Um, she's just really, really been a great beginner species. Um, so, here you have it. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to post. Uh, I'll be answering my next tarantulas videos I'm going to do is going to be the H. lividum, which is the cobalt blue, and the P. minimus, which is the uh, orange starburst baboon. So, hope you enjoy. As you can see here, she's still in her threat posture. Why? Uh, you know, she's feisty. She's about to mold. It's kind of like, uh, you know, your woman having a baby, I guess you could say. You know, they get stressed easily, and the only thing they want to do is... Uh, Push that extra shell off so they can be cranky. But here you have it. Any other questions, please feel free to ask, and uh, I'll answer. Thank you.